Hello out there, guys. Um, I don't make very many videos anymore just for the simple fact that the audience that I had, they've kind of peeled away. Um, somehow I've failed you guys along the way to where I don't get a whole lot of viewership. But I had to come on and make a video tonight and uh, I'm gonna try to be as cohesive as I can with this video because what I'm about to talk about is something very serious and I don't play around with this subject. I have so much reverence um, for it. But um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start off and talk about my dreams okay I have very very vivid dreams to the point to where most of the time I can't even tell if they're a dream they are like real life to me real life excuse me I even had a dream one time to where that I could have swore that I had lived two years in this dream and I am not exaggerating not lying um, I even entered into a portal in this dream I had a, a, a family the whole deal okay I don't remember much about that but these dreams I have are just they're spectacular dream about my mom and dad a lot they're gone they they're passed on and went to heaven they've got their reward but anyway this dream I had about about five days ago maybe a week ago um, was unbelievable and it wasn't even a very long dream but I dreamt about God and I never do that. I've dreamt twice about the Lord in my whole life. And I'm 48, going to be 49 years old. So, for whatever reason, the Lord does not place those kind of spiritual dreams in my life. But this dream was different. I dreamt that from what I can conceive in this dream was either the rapture or at the last time when Christ comes back to fight the Antichrist when the Bible talks about that whatever humanity is left will turn their guns along with Satan and try to destroy Jesus Christ out of the sky I don't think that is when it was, but I'm almost certain it was the rapture. So I start off in this dream. I'm on top of a building, like a two-story uh, uh, building, like a hardware store or a storefront on top of the roof. And I see in the sky there's a hole that's not really circled, but a big size hole would be like the moon or the sun but it's just a hole that's ripped out of the sky I look up there and I see what appears to be the Lord Jesus Christ coming through this hole and he's not made it all the way through the hole but he's coming and it's so vivid that I can see collars behind him that look like heaven. I seen an orange, and it was the brightest orange I'd ever seen. Almost like where you where you don't walk, like you know, on a crosswalk where the hand is up and it's orange. It was an orange like that, but it was a bright shining orange, like a collar that I've never 
experienced before. It's really weird. I've seen what I appears to be Jesus Christ. He's in a robe. I see his blonde hair. He's kind of like holding his hands out, coming into this hole in the sky. I'm on top of this building, mind you. Okay? In my mind, I'm thinking this is the rapture. And I'm almost certain that's what it was. And I could hear, I know at least the whole city yelling and praising God. But I'm almost certain I heard the whole world. And they were going, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm yelling, yes, yes, yes. Because I know that my redemption is now. I'm going on to get out of this earth. And I'm going on. So it has to be the rapture. But I don't see, you know, I don't see what the Bible terms as the rapture. So, it, it, you know, it has to be the rapture. I can't see any other thing but to be that. And I hear everybody yelling and, yeah, cheering, and this is it, yeah, we're going home. Everybody's got their hands and praising God. And, and just, it was a feeling that I never felt even over, even being saved. It was just unbelievable. And I remember in my dream, I point at the sky, and I know there's people in my life that they don't believe you know, what the Bible says about Jesus. And I point to the sky and I said, I told you I was right. I told you this was going to happen. And, like, I'm turning away to look at this crowd because I see other people on top of buildings. Yeah, they're praising God because he's there. It's time to go home. Then all of a sudden, I, I, I wake up. So, you know, I nothing, the old saying, nothing sure but death and taxes. I've heard all my life. But I'm almost certain that was a rapture dream. And I never have them. So that really tells me something right there. The Bible says your young men see visions, your old men dream dreams. So, I think this is something that the Lord's telling me that His coming is nigh. You know, we're very close to Christ hitting the eastern skies to bring us home, people. Probably closer than it's ever been. You know, when you have, you have CERN, that uses these computers. They're called D-Waves. And these computers, they get information in qubits. And they divide these qubits up. And they divide it up more and more. And even their makers and operators talk about this computer deals in parallel, parallel origins to be able to do these computations for CERN. They said they access portals. And, you know, I think the, the reason why they call it D-Wave is, A, it's demonic wave. It's energy. It's knowledge that they're getting from demonic sources. You know, the Bible says in the last days that knowledge would increase. So this all ties in with this last days. They've all but admitted that they are they are communicating with an entity that they don't know exactly what it is. And if you have any faith, you can put two and two together and know that absent from the body is present with the Lord. So it can't be an alien that they're accessing it's, it's it's either good or evil and 
it has to be evil. Because God is not going to bless CERN and give them the ability to do that. So they are, in effect, they are using demons for their own research to further their work. These are the days we live in. In the last days will be like the days of Noah. So is the coming of the Son, the, the, the coming of the Son of Man. Just like in the days of Noah, where the Nephilim, you know, where they, they, they were all around. They were abomination, what the Bible talks about. That, you know, it said the sons of God looked upon the, the daughters of men. And the Bible says they come, come into them. And they made these, these, all these creatures, even different animals and giants. And you see everything going on right now, the Illuminati, and you see a lot of these sacrifices that's going on. And then you see the pandemic. You see what's going on in Russia. We are living in the last hours of this world, and it's time to get ready because we are going home. I hate to base a dream on my whole faith, but I think it's just one indica indication that the Lord has showed me that you're about to go home, and we're about to go home. If you do not know, do not know Jesus Christ, I suggest that you read John 3, 16 in the Bible, that you hit your knees, that you ask God to come into your heart, because He is coming with or without you. He's coming for His bride. The bride is the church, the believers. Be ready, don't be left behind. Because if you can't live it now, you will not live it in the great tempt great tribulation. So that's all I've got for today. I know this video is out of the woodwork, but it's, it's so important I had to tell about this dream. So I love y'all, and we'll see you later. Bye.